All right, so you guys have to bear with me here. It's my um, third time recording this video. Um, so yeah, I should hopefully know what I'm saying now, but given it's now 3 a.m. as of recording right now, um, yeah, I might be talking out of my ass slightly. I'll probably remake this video ever, but yeah, first upload in about six months. Six months, yeah, that's about right. So yeah, and I'll take us to it. Alrighty, so about here is when our story begins. So in this fight, we've got four people. There's me, this SU-27 over here, uh, this F-16, and this Gripen. These two, we won't have to worry about as much. It's just mainly this guy I'm here to focus on. So, I'm um, going up for here. I flare what I assume is an AIM-9L, but I got really scared towards the end there. I did keep my burner on, so that's now thinking about it. That's probably what the issue was. Um, so, we've got two kind of dogfights here happening. I thought this SU-27 was going to focus my Gripen, and I thought I could just maybe dive down and take the SU-27. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and he starts pulling into a vertical with me. Um, I think about, you can hear the tone in the background right now. I think about going for this F-16, realize the Gripen's probably got him here, so I should go after this SU-27. So I forget about him, try and pull my nose onto this SU-27, but, you know, Russian SU-27, or Russian fighter jet, sorry, rather, it goes hee hee, I turn now. Um, so yeah. I don't know what's shooting right now, I don't think that's him, but I think that might be just a replay glitch because I haven't heard that one yet. But as you can see here in my situation, I've got two targets that I can see in front of me. This SU-27 who I want to go for, and this F-16 who I could missile. Now to me, these two are still dogfighting. Until about here, where I realize that my group and friend is stalled out. So, it's either I go for him, kill him, and maybe die to him, or... I keep going for him and then die to the F-16 and die to the SC-27. So, you know, I try to take the easy option. I go for this F-16. My grip and friend slams into the side of that hill. So I make sure and then fire off that missile. It connects. And my instant thought is, where is that SC-27? Sure enough, he's got his nose on me. Now, luckily for me, this guy is clean. He's got no... Uh, R73s for me, and I think that's the only reason why I survived this uh, battle. Um, so yeah, I take underneath him, he misses all of his shots here, and yeah, he's, as you can see, he's already got his nose on there, he would have lost quite a bit of speed doing that. I started this off at like around 500, so yeah. Um, now, ideally, you wouldn't want to pull in front of a SC-27, like I said before, I just got lucky that he didn't have good aim. And he's trying to pull with me, but I just got too much speed for this sustained turn. And from here, it's pretty much just over for him. In a usual situation with a 1v1, if he had an R73 right now, I'd be dead. There'd be nothing I could do. So for me, it's just lucky he didn't have any missiles. And I guess also his aim isn't off. And he's not inexperienced. I checked the um, play card in between. He's a level 100 five, uh, 50 days of uh, experience of um, what's called fighters in era but it doesn't equate to obviously skill you know it's uh only day two for a, me of patch patch day so you know me and him are both still trying to learn our respective fighters um however i have a i don't know if he's got you know off 1v1ing the f15s but i luckily have been 1v1ing my um, squadron leaders SU-27, so I know a fair bit about how to do dogfight in 1v1s, and an easy thing I realize is the SU-27 loses a lot of speed in these, like, high AOA maneuvers, like any jet would, and with the F-15 also doing that sometimes, you know, it's a double delta wing, kind of, I, th I forgot what the actual word for it is, but it is a semi-delta, I think that's what it's called, um, I can still lose a lot of speed, but I can also keep a lot of my speed in turns, especially with this high thrust to weight ratio. And as you can see here, he's barely, he gets his nose on here, but it's not enough to keep on me. And with me, you know, hanging around 500k an hour here, I can just literally fly circles around him. And there's nothing you can really do about it in this two circle, where I am just pulling away here, and he's basically stalling out here and I'm already in this sustained turn catching up to him 
um, he, he tries to pull away here, and honestly, at the speed that we were both going, I wouldn't have caught him quickly, but he would have given us enough time to, like, you know, run away, but he turns in here, and unluckily for him, I actually hit my shots here, and from there, it was just GG, and I think the main reason I wanted to make this video was just to kind of show you that people that you know, in, obviously this is a very certain situation, like, there was no missiles here, but there is- Hey, so this is a post-editing lift here, um, this part of the video went on for like too long and I realised I was just talking complete- not complete nonsense, it's just something I can draw down. Pretty much what I was saying here is this situation, while rare, does give me hope for other F-15 players who see this, like, to see that isn't entirely useless, like, we have some hope in 1v1s given he had no missiles. You know, in this video I had 20 minutes of fuel going into the fight, I don't know what he had, but... And, you know, I think it was just, to me, a fresh look into what seeing, or into seeing what I... Or not what I was capable of, what my plane was capable of, and how against the SU-27 we're still pretty good. Anyway, it's not completely over. So yeah. I um hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about that last part. I realized going back over it, despite me saying that oh the last thing was stuttery, that was just a stuttery. It was it's it's three thirty in the morning. So um yeah, random upload. Um yeah, hope you enjoy.